Hello there and welcome to another episode of World of Tanks and Gainey Titan. We're in Abbey and the T-67 and we're top tier. There are a lot of three t tier 3 tanks in this battle and um, one of the things about the lower tiers of course is that it can be quite unpredictable. Um, you can get a lot of novice players and stuff like that so that you can... Never quite sure how a battle is going to develop, uh, so I initially pull up here to these bushes just to cover the uh, the road here along the sixth line, in case you know anybody's foolish enough to come down and we get some early opportunities. However, from the way the team is maneuvering, it looks like that if um, anybody's going to get opportunities along the sixth line, it's going to be the enemies. Uh, we have two tanks rushing straight up, and the very deployment on our side is an indication of why you shouldn't bother with the um, that route because it's very simple to block it. Um, just park some tanks at the back, and there's always some. Um, and you're stopped. So they've gone through. Um, the light tank has managed to escape into the buildings, and the medium has retreated, and they got out with their lives. Intact, but they reveal about five enemy tanks. The other thing is, there's only a lone heavy tank heading for the western road um, along the one line. So I'm looking at the situation here. The light tank is still active, and there's a lot of enemy tanks back around the base. I think the sudden rush up through this six line has actually attracted um, a lot of the enemy tanks. But because we're the ones pushing the 6th line, they're not really being revealed, so I'm not getting any shots. So I'm going to change location because there's a light tank has appeared here in the village and meanwhile it was spotted that medium, so we took the opportunity to take a shot at him. Um, there is a light tank in the abbey right now and the heavy tank has met another heavy tank. But he doesn't seem to have met anybody else. And right now there doesn't seem to be anybody visible opposite uh, the horde that we have over around 6 line. And we're pushing up along the 8, 9 line as well. So I thought, right, I'm going to go in and check out the centre here. Because, um, because the tanks revealed back around the base area should be... Um, I should be able to see them from inside the abbey. I should be able to see them preferably from far back enough that they won't see me and I should be able to shoot them. Now as I get out the artillery has already been revealed because yet another light tank has gone right into the enemy base. So I missed the first shot because I just took too much of a hurry. Same with the second shot. Managed to get the third shot off and we get the kill shot as well. But there are quite a few enemy tanks in the base area so I was right, and I get some opportunities, so we knock some damage off the archer, but he gets wiped out by probably the Panzer 3A, um, or by our light tank or something. That Panzer 3A realizes he's been shot at and makes a run for it, but I don't think he realizes he's been shot at from the Abbey. So I've managed to pick up two kills and seven damaging ribbons in that uh, brief exchange there. Um, but we've managed to take out most of the enemy team. Now there is a tank making a breakthrough towards our base. He has slipped down through the village um, while I was in the abbey and he hasn't really realized I was here. So I kind of... Um, there was a bit of a glitch there, just lost control of the tank slightly. Um, but we've removed most of the health of that Panzer IV, bounced the shot, so we better take aim properly before he gets a shot off at me. And uh, we have another heavy tank coming down through the now pretty much vacant um, sixth line. And I come off the side of the abbey there a little too quickly. Fortunately the heavy tank hadn't made it through, but I bounced that shot off the corner. My tracks took a lot of that. I was lucky that that didn't just blow me away. Uh, I think if you got a proper solid hit on the turret he would have just wiped me out. Well, we managed to finish him off, so we're now up to five kills, and there's one enemy tank remaining. And it's another T-67, so this is going to be interesting. Um, 
He's got a bit of an advantage up there in the higher ground because he's got more cover, more hard cover around him, whereas I was in the open, so I didn't really want to stop and engage in a firefight. Um, I'm pretty much, I think, a one shot kill. Definitely two shots. So I go up here, and it looks like he's actually followed me around. Um, and there he is, he's behind me. So I thought about coming out this way, and then I thought, no, there's no cover. Um, so I'm going to go this way and uh, put some cover between me and him. But he seems to have picked up on the other tank. He's not paying any attention to me and um, that allows me to finish him off. So there you have it. A very quick game on Abby. Um, kind of stuff that can happen when you have, like I said, lower, lower tier teams. We were quite fortunate they didn't send a strong force down the western road. Um, so top gun. Managed to get a fire for effect, so that's not bad. We we actually did some real damage. We didn't just kill steel all around us. And we came second by experience. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you again soon.